one holiday I can never ever forget, which keeps coming back to my mind, is our tour in Kurg, in the coffee plantation. It was walking through the coffee plantation, watching different types of coffee beans grow. And then when we come back to this resort area, and then they show actually how coffee beans are roasted and freshly grounded and filtered coffee, how it is served. Is there anything better than having a freshly made filtered coffee? Now we keep on talking about filtered coffee, but today we are going to talk actually about the two filters that we have on both sides of our body, which is constantly filtering the blood and eliminating all the poison from our body. Yes, you guessed it correct. Today we are going to talk about kidneys. Hello there. I'm Dr. Purnendu Roy. I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital and today we are going to talk about kidney disease. In our body there are two kidneys and they are of about approximately 11 cm and they are placed in the back both sides of the vertebral column and it is a retroperitoneum behind the peritoneum. The kidney gets its blood supply through renal artery and the blood is drained from the kidney by the renal vein. Now, what exactly is the kidney doing in the body? It's basically a filter. The whole blood in our body goes through the kidney. So the metabolic end product, which are the excretory products are collected from the kidney and it comes out through the ureter on both sides into the bladder. And this is what is urine, which collects in the bladder. And after it is accumulated in the bladder, you develop the urge to pass urine and urine is excreted out from the body. Even though the kidney is working as a filter, but it is a collection of about 1 million of micro filters inside. And each of these micro filter is called a nephron, which is a unit. Now, when the blood enters through the renal artery in the kidney, it breaks down into branches in arterioles and it reaches into breaking down into capillary in each of this nephron and it enters into the nephron what we call it is a glomerulus Bowman's capsule so the artery which enters into it is called afferent arteriole and the one which comes out of that side is called efferent arteriole and this in the cup shaped area of the glomerulus the filtration takes place one million such nephron and filters are there in each kidney whereas in mouse it's only about 12,500 nephrons are there in each kidney so look at this efficiency with which these two filters are working about 1100 to 2000 liters of blood flow through both the kidneys per day now this is about 275 to 300 times of the total blood volume. So the whole blood actually flows so many number of times through both the kidneys. And when we talk about how much is the filter which takes place in each of this nephron and all millions of nephron collects together, the, this rate is called GFR, glomerular filtration rate. And the glomerular filtration rate is about 125 ml milliliter per minute. And this amounts to something like 180 liters of filter. That's the amount which is getting filtered out. But the water gets reabsorbed back in the loop of Henle in each nephron. And ultimately, only about 1.5 to 2 liters of urine is produced per day. That's the output.
kidney disease is a global public health problem. Worldwide, about 750 million people are affected with kidney disease. The highest number of kidney transplant that is done in the whole world, the main cause is end-stage renal disease from diabetes. Now that's the reason I'm asking you people, like in many places they say know your customer and I'm asking you please, this is my urge, know your kidney, try to understand, take care of your kidney. And if we really try to understand the load and the impact of the renal disease that's affecting India, every year 2.2 lakhs new patient with end-stage renal disease is getting added to the load of requirement of 3.4 crore dialysis required per year. And just to understand, there are approximately about 4,950 dialysis centers in our country and mostly in the private sector. Such a vital organ, it is filtering our blood on a non-stop basis. If this filter stops working, that's it. The person will develop uremia and die of renal failure. Now, to understand renal diseases, there are several problems and we will do this in few separate issues. Now, when we talk about infection of the kidney, we will discuss under that about pyelonephritis and glomerulonephritis and nephrotic syndrome. We'll also discuss about how diabetes affect the kidney and discuss about acute renal failure and chronic renal failure, which requires sometimes conservative treatment and many of these people will require dialysis to support their life or need renal transplant. We'll also discuss a separate issue on stones in kidney because in each area where the stone forms, different types of affection can take place. And the treatment modalities, whether surgical, non-surgical, lithotripsy, there is a lot to learn about how to manage kidney stones. We'll also talk about kidney cancer. So if you are interested in knowing more about your filter and kidney, Please subscribe to my channel, share it with your other friends and keep watching my video channel to know more about not only kidney, but most of the important health issues in life. Thank you very much for watching.